Hey, uh, okay, so today is two, well, I know it says two weeks on tea, but it's actually been only 13 days, but I'm making this video, I guess I'm going to make my videos on Sunday, because Monday's always busy for me. Um, okay, so for the most part, not that much has changed between last Sunday and this Sunday. Um, except for, I don't know, I'm just noticing more emotional changes, kind of, like, I'm not able to cry when I usually would be. It's actually kind of frustrating because crying is a big relief for me, uh, an emotional release, and I don't have that as much anymore. I used to cry, like, every day, almost, and it might be just because... I've been feeling a lot happier, but like when I get sad and I feel like I need to cry, it's really hard to cry, and I sometimes really can't. Um, what else? Yeah, just just an increase in all of the changes that I talked about last week. Um, like the hair on my legs is definitely more hairier. Um, the 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 hair that existed is darker, longer, um, and denser. And I'm getting new hairs in places that I hadn't ever had hair before, like uh, the back of my calves um, now have like sort of little fine kind of hairs. Some of them are darker, some of them are blonde, but I've never had hair on my calves, and so that's happening. I have hair on my toes, um, like my arm hair is darker, I think. Just hairier in general, my happy trail little hair between your belly button and your junk is more pronounced. It's like darker and I think thicker. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that's cool. And also, uh, both my girlfriend and my mom say that my voice is deeper. Um, it's not so much that my voice is really that much deeper. I probably could speak in this uh, like pitch before. It's just that now, when I try and speak like this, like my voice, which is how I probably was speaking before, my voice just doesn't want to. Like it's, it's not that I can't, it's that like my voice feels more comfortable in this like slightly lower pitch and like I'm able to make my voice go deeper. Um, that sounds really stupid, right? But like, like when I make my voice really low, exaggeratedly so, but like I wasn't able to make it go that low before, and like I can sing lower notes too, which is cool. I also can't hit the really, really high notes that I usually can, um, which has been kind of frustrating singing some of my favorite songs and not being able to hit that note anymore, but it's also really cool, just like my voice doesn't want to do it. It's cool. Um, like I don't know why, but I'm already passing more like at my work. I usually get called ma'am 100% of the time by customers, and yesterday at work I got called sir like four times. That almost never happens. I usually get called sir maybe like once in a whole day by a customer, if, if, if that. Um, so that's really cool. And I don't really understand why, because I don't think I look very different. I kind of think my face looks different, but it's probably not noticeable to anyone but me because I spend so much time looking at my own face. Vanity. But yeah, so there's that, and what else, what else? Um, yeah, my little, my clit, like my clit dick is growing a bunch. So that's a little bit too much information, but like, yeah, it's growing, it's getting bigger. That's like really, really exciting to me, and it's also way, way more sensitive. And you know, like I talked about the first week, my sex drive is super high. I find that I have more energy, I feel healthier, like eating, which has been a big like issue for me for a long time, my eating disorder, with my eating disorder and stuff, like eating food feels really good, like I get hungry and I'm like I need to eat, and then like I eat a bunch of stuff and the experience of eating is really satisfying and like I feel really good after I eat, like it's awesome, and like my body was never <coughs> that
that averse to like not eating. Like I would feel okay if I just didn't eat anything. And now like if I don't eat, like I go nuts. I like have to eat and that's really good for me because like otherwise I just wouldn't, you know. Um, like sleeping, I'm not, it's not that I'm sleepier, but I find that I can sleep more and sleep better. Um, sleeping has always been an issue for me too, so like that's really cool. And I feel like when I'm when I'm out of bed, like when I wake up, and I'm up. Like there's no like weird groggy period of like trying really hard to wake up and not being able to wake up. I just wake up and it's awesome. And like, just like, I don't know, like physical sensations feel better, like more satisfying, like rubbing lotion on yourself or like doing things with your body, like my skin, when I touch myself, like it feels better. I don't know if that's in my head or not, but like, I feel like my skin is more sensitive maybe. Um, I don't get cold as often. I like stay warm more than I usually do, which is cool because I've always been kind of underweight and always really cold. So like my body makes more heat by itself. Um, and like in general, I feel less depressed, probably just because like I've been on tea and tea makes me feel good. Like, like both being on tea and like having tea in my body, both of those things make me feel really good. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, looking forward to more changes, for sure. Looking forward to my voice getting deeper. Um, I came out to my grandma uh, a couple days ago over email because she's coming down for my graduation in, 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 uh, in June. And, you know, like my mom's mom, not my dad's mom. I haven't come out to her yet, but I'm writing her a letter and I will be coming out to her soon. Anyway, so I wrote an email to my mom's mom and like she took it really well. She was really accepting. She wrote me a very short response just being like, I saw your email. Like I want you to know that I fully support you and like I love you a lot and like blah blah. She said a lot of really nice things, um, but she was like, I'm really busy today so I'm gonna respond more in depth tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to like her more in-depth email and like yeah, I just love my grandma a lot and we've always had more kinship than I've had with any other member of my family I think, um, yeah, aside from like my brother. Um, but like we're very similar in the way that we think and our beliefs and she, you know, is down with defying gender roles like in you know in the 50s 40s and 50s when everyone expect she grew up in a very conservative household and they expected her she was engaged they expected her to get married and stuff and she was just like fuck that she moved to Europe married or actually they never married um, but she my grandfather was a Jew and artist and they were beatniks and they traveled around Europe making art and doing their thing and like she was really into travel and she smoked cigarettes and drank and she told me a couple of years ago that she used to date a lot of women so she was like bisexual and in a time when none of that was was looked upon well in a woman at all and she's just a really strong lady and I really admire her. So, like, it feels really good to be validated by her. Anyway, I'm going to end this video now. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, y'all. This came out way longer than I meant it to. But, um, yeah. Okay. Toodles.